Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this Inktober plus watercolors and are you ready for another one? Well today I was thinking we could do some vases and I did do a light sketch how I want to place them just to know my composition and that's something that I will be following today and also I will be using same watercolor book as I did de designate for this Inktober uh, or ink plus watercolors. So as I said today, some vases, we will be needing some pencil and eraser, some ink pens. I'm sure you know by now I'm using these etcher 01, 03 and 05. Usually actually I haven't used this 03, but you know, maybe today, who knows. And also I will be using some watercolors from this is Viviva color sheets, spring set and very nice watercolors, very, very vibrant, great for on the go. And that's, I think, everything we will be using today. Yes, for the brushes, I will be using this Raphael Soft Aqua. I love that one. It can hold a lot of water and maybe one uh, more for the details. This is Dianai around number four. And I guess that is everything. So first we will start with our sketch and you can see we have here one a little bit taller one then one next to it a little bit uh, smaller and this one actually these two are pretty same size but this one is a little bit closer to us and this one a little bit further so it looks like they're not the same size but they're pretty much the same size so first is going to be a, the tallest i'm not going to do that leaf probably because i can't fit it in my page and i really don't want to cramp it everything so first i will just mark where my uh, first one is going to be this one has a little uh, thinner neck and it's quite thin ways going like that downwards and also the other side I do have some issues with making things symmetrical so if you do have the same issue you can just use the met method I usually use just um, sketch get a paper fold it do the sketch on one side and then just op uh, cut it open it and trace it See how I just can't, I, I, I do have a problem with making those two sides completely even, but I will do my best and it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Like that, that's just fine. I'm happy with that. So for the second one, we have it, it's gonna be up to here and a little bit above this one. And the third one is going to be even a little bit more beneath and like that. So the second one is behind this one. I will do a light sketch for the entire ways. Later on when I do my inking, I will just skip the part. Where they should be hidden behind like that. That's going to be for the second one and for the third one. We have also a little bit thicker neck going downwards and this one is quite thick. Yeah, maybe even more. So I will just add a little bit more belly on this side like that. I do believe they are just quite fine, quite symmetrical. So let's get our ink pen 05 again and I'm gonna do the, the basic ink, not gonna do the straight line. I'm just doing the sketchy line for the for my vases but just a basic one. So later on we will add a little bit more of the details to the sketch. Like that, it's gonna make it a little bit more circular. That's what we can see from the second one and from the third one. 
belly. Like that and like that. That's going to be for the third one. I will just erase now those pencil lines. Those are our bases. I'm just gonna get 03. See this one this time using a 03. And I will just add a little bit more of the, you know, some parts of our base a little bit thicker. I will be trying to do too much of the shading this time just gonna go over some parts make it a little bit thicker this is gonna be a quick inking today and also this one like this and we have here some a little bit more of the inking Somebody said to me, you are not being gentle to your ink pens. Well, that's the truth. I'm not, usually I'm not really a gentle to any of my supplies. I do believe they're here to be used and not to be, um, you know, kept under the glass. You know, sometimes you do have to be a little bit more careful. So they have a longer life, but it just get so much in it and I just forget to stay gentle so I start to do my well I start to do it and just kind of like that not really thinking about preserving and keeping it so like this and also we will do a few of those lines here, some embellishments on our vase. Like that. There you go. And on the this one we, do, we will have some circles just to keep that one. A little bit more interesting like that here maybe some smaller one here and then we have this one very big here so that's gonna be our details and on this one just a few lines like that and we're gonna do our you know table or whatever where our Vases are on the ground like that and then just gonna do a little bit more here to make this inside like that and then some shading a little bit more on our there you go pieces I believe that's enough for this one I will be using color this is called cherry blossom I'm gonna mix that one in and it's very very pink so I don't want my vase to be so pink so I will just use a little bit of the green as its complementary color just to tone it down slightly create this very very nice not so vibrant pink we can move this so here it is I'm just gonna go over my vase the first one and add that in like that 
Also, I will do a few splatters just to maybe move it around. For the second one, I will be using, we'll go back to that one. For the second one, I will be using, just looking for it, this is going to be yellow ochre. Well, actually, yellow ochre is on this set. This is, again, watercolors by Viviva Colors, watercolor sheets, different sheet, and I will be using yellow ochre. This is quite vibrant color. Just gonna put it onto this ways. And even if my colors mix slightly, I don't mind that bleed into each other it's gonna be fine like that i'm gonna even put it there just to bleed slightly one into each other and i'm gonna use also some burnt umber but this time i will use slightly smaller brush for the burnt umber just gonna do those circles like that there you go and we can maybe even help that color bleed slightly inside of our circles why not right there you go and for the last one I will be using we have here this is one a little bit brownish color this is actually again here this one is called tree bark brown so just a brown color and I will add a little bit of the blue this one is called indigo blue or actually I'm gonna add just a little bit of midnight blue not indigo but midnight blue to create this grayish color and this one is going to be grayish just to you know I don't want to have too many colors so this one is going to be creation. Now I will just pick up some black. Just get a generous amount of the black. And just gonna go inside my vases and also here on some parts where the shadows are. And this one, mostly I will be adding that black like that. This one again, a little bit bleeding. And on our table, just to add a little bit of the color like that. So now I will get slightly smaller brush, get back to my pink. This is, as I said, some cherry blossom. Gonna get a generous amount of cherry blossom and then my foliage green. Get back to my cherry blossom until I get the color I'm looking for. And I'm gonna just do the those embellishments on my vase with that a little bit slightly more saturated more vibrant color and also gonna do a few splatters with that pink like that and very very light wash I'm gonna place onto the first vase and just get my paper towel and pick up what is the excess and this one is very staining so it really doesn't let you pick up easily so I will just add a little bit black on top just to tone it slightly down as I said very vibrant colors so you just need a touch of those 
gets a little bit more of the black and do a few splatters with that and I do have some yellow here so we'll pick up that yellow that's the one we used here and I'm gonna add it also on my first yellow ochre on the first way is that one is going to be mix of everything and some yellow splatters just going also above and some pinks like that Just fill your paper with paint, you know, where you think it's a little bit more needed. Just add that in and also I will be, I'll add a little bit here for the shadow. Just behind this vase like that just to create a little bit of the shadow to make it look like the second one is behind the first one and I guess that's it do we need anything more is my question and one more thing I will actually do get a little bit of the yellow and just add that one here and do a few larger splatters and also here with a smaller brush a few smaller ones just to create some texture to my vases. Now I will dry that. So I'm stopping now somewhere in the middle of my paint uh, drying process and I just want to add a clean water here and there maybe where the paint is still wet it will create texture we'll see. So let's just dry it. So this is now completely dry and I will get a little bit more of that uh, pink but this time add just a tiny bit of green to it again like that and then just do the border on this side soften it slightly and also on this side soften it and do a few lines here for the details like that and then also on the second one I will get a little bit more of it's gonna be some actually here it's gonna be some burnt umber this time a lighter wash and I'm gonna go over it with burnt umber Like that. There you go, just to connect those two colors, not to have a blob of burnt umber and blob of yellow ochre. And on this way, the first one, this is again somewhat pink. I will do a little bit more of the details, just add a few of those. Again, lines, embellishments like that
and I will get some black and do a few more splatters with black and I will do a few splatters with yellow with <laughs> white gouache just gonna add on top a few splatters everything looks better with some splatters right and then while I have it here I will pick up a little bit more and do a few highlights on my ways and also on this one this will definitely dry lighter but just to have a few highlights on our vase like that make the inside slightly darker there you go. Like that. So again, some burnt umber here to go inside this way. So. Like that. So I think we're done. I will just do one more thing and the light is changing also saying finish up. <laughs> it's gonna right here vases October 22nd. There you go. So now we're well, almost done. I do want to add. <laughs> I do want to add just a little bit of the black here, you know, just to create some impression of the shadows. And there, like that. So we're definitely maybe finished right now. I do want to add a little bit more of the color around them just to complete it all not to have a uh, white blobs around my vases so just add a little bit more color like that now we're done okay guys I hope you do uh, like this video also if you do like it please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still please do subscribe to my channel that would really mean a lot to me Thank you so much for watching this video, for joining in, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!